Welcome guys to my first Q&A. Today, as you can see, it's not a normal place. We're somewhere very nice. I'm not gonna say the location, but I want you guys, if you know the location, to comment it down in the comments. So, as you guys know, this is a Q&A, so I'm gonna be answering a few of your burning questions. Without further ado, let's get straight to it. I asked you guys to ask me some questions, some of your burning questions for this particular YouTube video. And you guys went ham, as you can see. You guys asked a lot of questions. A lot of you are asking a lot of questions. Of course, some of you, I think you guys ask questions you already know the answer to, but without further ado, let's get straight into it. Our first question is, where do you see yourself five years from now? I get this question a few times, quite a lot of times, and very simple answer. I see myself doing the exact thing I'm doing right now. Continue with the ministry. Of course, that's the main focus. That's the main mission. Continuing with TV production, uh, media production, being behind the scenes of that. More company, more businesses. Doing the exact thing I'm doing right now, but on a bigger scale. So that's my simple answer. I see myself doing the exact thing I'm doing now, just on a much larger scale. So next question, how to stay away from being distracted by the things of the world? Very simple. Now, the Bible always tells us in Romans 12 verse 2, be not conformed by this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do you do that? It's through the word of God. So this person is saying, how do I get, not be distracted? Exactly how the scripture tells us through the word of God. Always bury your flesh daily in the word. Make sure you're reading make it a habit to read not just a manual thing but an automatic thing let it be a part of you don't let it be too robotic but let it just be a natural thing this is who we are at the end of the day so it's very important that's how you stay away from distractions and of course being in the position i'm in you can imagine there have been a lot of distractions a lot of times i have i could have fell into temptation in the past a lot of times where i did fall into temptation but how did i get out of that is through the word of God. So that's my biggest advice. How to stay away from being distracted? Through the word. Remember that verse, Romans 12, verse 2. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So that's very important. All right, next question. I think I've got this question about, I don't know, 200 times. So I think it's just important to answer. When are you getting married? <laughs> God have mercy upon us. <laughs> <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. <laughs> Next question. All right. This person says, at what age did you enter into the prophetic? Now, someone asked me this question and it's a very simple answer before I was born. Everything that we are doing right now, as we walk, as we talk, we're living a prophesied life. Everything that we're doing, God is already predestined for us to do. So uh, even though I know this person's asking the question from a good standpoint, it doesn't make sense because everything that we're doing has already been predestined. We're living a prophesied life. So when you say, when did I get into the prophetic? It's before I was even born. Before this earth was created, God had me in mind and he already had my calling in mind. The same with the person that's answered this question, whatever you're doing, whether it's evangelizing in the streets, whether it's maybe evangelizing through your social media, modeling, whatever it is, it was already predestined. All right. Do you regret anything in life and would you love to change? I've always been an advocate for not regretting anything in life. One thing about the past is it's in the past. It's already done. There's nothing you can do to change it. It's a thing that's already done. So it's so important to not focus on the past. The past has happened. It is what it is. The thing I focused on is moving forward. It's the same thing when you sow a seed in the ground. You're not focused on the seed. You're now focused on the harvest. The seed has already been done. The seed has already been sowed. Now the thing to focus on is the harvest, where I'm going, what my outcome is going to be. So that's the thing with, with that I've always focused on. Yes, I've made a lot of mistakes. And as you guys know, I've spoke about it a lot of times. I've been expelled from school, smoked weed, I've drank before and indulged in things of the world. However, did that thing really hinder me a lot? It did, but I'm no longer focused on that. I'm a now a changed person. I'm a transformed person through the word and I'm not focusing on the mistakes I've made. Yes, they were big mistakes, but I'm not focused on that. I'm now focused on the future, my harvest. So I don't regret anything I've done in life. I've always learned from my mistakes and I think it's the very thing that, you know, in this generation we need to learn to do. And that's to learn from our mistakes, not to hold on to the past, 
but to move forward. Be my advice to anybody watching this who feels the same way as this person right now. So as I continue answering your guys' question, I'm going to be walking around um, this area and I'm going to continue answering your questions. Just a nice walk through and we talk some more. Moving on to the next questions. We have a question from a very special person and they're asking, do you got a girl? Yes, I do. I do. Very beautiful, of course. Um, do I love her? Of course. And very special thing. She's right here. This phone. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm joking. I might get in trouble. <laughs> you guys, are, you guys ask questions. You guys already know the answer to. So I'm gonna simply say, um, do you got a girl? I don't know what that means. Do you got a girl? I don't have a daughter. Uh, I'm not even married. But I'll say yes. Okay. Next question is, can we be friends with each other's numbers or like each other's phone numbers? Yes, we can. My number is 079LN42TWGPRZO. That's my number. You can contact me right now if you want to. All right. And I think that'll be it for today's question and answer. Remember to like, comment and share right now. All right. Like, comment, share. Thank you. Cut the video.